Hello friends in this video tutorial we will discussing on how can we use bootstrap modal for making login page in PHP script with Ajax query. We have already developed login script with simple PHP code on single page. But here we will use bootstrap modal for developing login form. Bootstrap modal modal is a dialog box or pop-up window that will be displayed on top of the web page. In web development many websites use this type of login system for their web application access. When we have click on any link or button then after modal window will be pop up on web page and under that dialog box we will put login page so we can enter their username and password and they can access web page. Now let us start writing code. This is our testing database and in this we have one admin login table with admin name and admin password fields and in this table we have already inserted one record with admin name is equal to admin and admin password is equal to password. This is our index.php page and on this page we have used JavaScript library query on this page and we have also used bootstrap library on this page so we can use functionality of both the library on this page. Now we have moved to write HTML code for bootstrap modal, so for this first we have write division tag with attribute it is equal to login modal and class is equal to modal and fade. Here modal class identifies the content of this division tag and fade class adds transition effect to bootstrap modal. Then after we have write other division tag with class attribute is equal to modal dialog, this class sets the proper width and margin of the modal. In this division tag we have write one more division tag between this tag with attribute class is equal to modal header. This class is used to define the style of the header of the modal. In this division tag we have defined one button for close bootstrap modal, so for this we have write button type is equal to button class is equal to clothes and data dismiss is equal to modal. With the help of this button we can close bootstrap modal by clicking on this button. For display bootstrap modal title. We have write header for tag with class is equal to modal title with text login. This class display the title of the bootstrap modal. Now we have defined one more division tag with attribute class is equal to modal body. Here modal body class is used to define the style for the body of the modal. Under this division tag we have first defined text box for entering username. So here we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to username mid is equal to username and class is equal to form control. Then after we want to define text box for entering password. So here we have write input type is equal to password with attribute name is equal to password it is equal to password and class is equal to form control. After this we want to define one login button, when we have click on that button then after we can verify user login information, so for button we have write button type is equal to button with attribute name is equal to login button it is equal to login button and class is equal to button button warning and in button text we have write login. This way we have create login form under bootstrap modal now we want to load this modal when we have click on any anchor link or button. So here we have defined one like button type is equal to button attribute name is equal to login it is equal to login and class is equal to button button success. Then after here we have write data toggle attribute is equal to modal and data target attribute is equal to modal is login modal and button text login. Here data toggle attribute will opens the modal window and data target attribute will target to id of modal which you want to open. This way we have defined button for open modal on web page. Friends you can see that when we have click on login button then it has been open login modal on the page and under this modal we can see that login form. Now we want to write code for login. 
So we have go to index.php page and here we have first query code on modal login form login button which as it is equal to login button. Here we have write dollar login button id with click event with function. So when we have click on modal login button then this code will execute. Under this event we have first write variable username is equal to dollar username with val method. Here username is the id of username text box and value of that text box we have store into this username variable. Then after we have write variable password is equal to dollar password with val method. Here password is the id of password text box and by using val method we have store that text box value under password variable. Now we have write of statement with condition like variable username is not equal to blank and value of password is not equal to blank. Here this condition will if both variable has value then it will execute if block of code otherwise it execute else block of code. Suppose both or one variable has no value the it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write alert with message with text like both fields are required. But suppose both variable has some value then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write ajax request and in this request we have write url option set to action.php page. Here we will send request to this action.php page. Then after we have write method option set to post method. Here we will use post method for send request to server. Then after we have write data option with data like username and password, we will send this data to the server. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function will be called if it sends successfully request to server and this function we receive data from server which is store under data argument. We will write code after we have write php login code under action.php page. So we have move write php code under action.php page and on this page first we have write session start function. This function will start session on this page. Then after we have want to make database connection. So we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host name set to local lost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. This way we have make database connection. After this we have write if statement with condition like set function with argument like dollar post username variable. This function will check if value of this variable set or not. If value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from admin login where admin name is equal to dollar post username variable and admin password is equal to dollar post password variable. This query will verify username and password and admin table. Then after we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result into dollar result variable. After this we have write if statement with condition like miscly num rows function with argument like dollar result variable greater than zero. Here this function will return number of rows from dollar result variable and it will check that rows greater than zero or not. If rows greater than zero that means user rent to write username and password and number of rows equal to zero that means user rent to wrong data. Suppose number of rows greater than zero that means user data are right so it will execute if block of code and under this block we have create one dollar session username variable is equal to dollar post username. Here we have save dollar post username variable value under this dollar session username variable and then after we have write echo yes, this text will be sent to success callback function. But suppose number of rows equal to zero then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write echo statement no and it will send text to success callback function.
Now we have moved to success callback function and here we have write if statement with condition like data is equal to null which is receive from action.php and here this condition will check if data is equal to null then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write alert message with text like wrong data. But suppose data is equal to yes then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar login modal dot hide method. Here login modal is the aid of modal and will be hide by using this hide method and after hide modal page must be refreshed so we have write location dot reload method. This will refresh page. Suppose user enter write username and password and then after page will be reload. After this page reload we want to remove login button and in place of that button we want to show welcome message with username and logout link. So for this first on top of the page we have write session start function. This function will start session on this page. Then after here we have write of statement with condition like set function with dollar session username variable. This condition will check if value of this session username variable is set or not. If value is set that means user has enter write login information and then after user can see welcome message in replace of login button. So in this block we have write welcome message with username. For display username we have write echo statement with dollar session username variable. This will display welcome message with username on the screen. And below welcome message we want to display logout link so by clicking that link user can logout. So for this we have write anchor tag with ref is equal to hashtag and attribute it is equal to logout and anchor text we have write logout. This way we have write logout link. But suppose value of session username variable is not set then it will execute else block of code and under this block we want to display login button which we have already created. So when user is not logged into system then he can view login button on the screen. Now we want to write code logout from system, so we have go to query code and under this code we have write dollar logout with click event with function. Here logout is the aid of logout anchor tag. Under this first we have write variable action is equal to logout. We will use this variable value under PHP code and action.php page. Then after we have define Ajax request and under this request we have write URL option set to action.php page. Method set to post method and we want to send action variable data to the server and lastly under success callback function we want to reload page so here we have write location dot reload method. This will reload page after successfully user will log out from system. Now we have moved to action.php page and on this page here we have write if statement with condition like set function with dollar post action variable. This condition will check if value of dollar action variable is set then it will execute if block of code. So under this block we have write unset function and under this function we have write dollar session username variable. This function will destroy value of this dollar session username variable. This way we have removed value of session variable. So our code is ready so we have saved this code and check out what in browser. Friends you can see that login button the web page when we have click on this login button then bootstrap modal dialog box has been pop up on the web page and under this bootstrap modal we can see login form with fields like username and password when we have enter admin and username and password and password and click on login button then after bootstrap modal has been hide and on web page we can see welcome message with username and below username we can we see logout link when we have click on logout link then we have logout from system and again on screen we can see login button. So here first we have create bootstrap modal by using bootstrap CSS and JavaScript and under this modal we have create login form.
After this we have create one button when we have click on that button then modal has been pop up on screen with login form and when we have fill login form and click on login button then it send request a jQuery code and that jQuery send request to PHP script via Ajax request and in PHP script we have validate user data and send back request to Ajax function. This way we can log in into system and by using session variable we can display username on the page if user is logged into the system and for logout we have also use Ajax jQuery code. So this is my video tutorial on how to make log inform by using bootstrap modal with PHP jQuery Ajax. If you like this video please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends if you want to get more update of my video tutorial, so you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.